drifting in an asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, there is a mystery that has the science world talking. Ceres is a dwarf planet and was formed around 4.6 billion years ago, back when the solar system was first created. Ceres is much bigger than its asteroid neighbours and was discovered on the 1st of January 1801 by Italian Giuseppe Piazzi while he was searching for stars. Ceres is named after the Roman goddess of corn and harvest and the word cereal comes from the same origin. Ceres was originally classed as an asteroid and it wasn't until 2006 when the International Astronomical Union reclassified it as a dwarf planet along with Pluto. Ceres is spherical in shape and has only about 1% of the mass of our moon. With a 590 mile or 950 kilometer diameter, it orbits the sun every 4.6 Earth years, and it completes one rotation every nine hours, making it one of the shortest day lengths in our solar system. Because of these characteristics, Ceres earned its dwarf planet status. Ceres has a very thin atmosphere and evidence suggests that it contains water vapour. There is also believed to be water beneath the surface in massive underground lakes. In 2014, the Herschel Space Observatory detected water vapour emanating from Ceres. Plumes of water have been seen shooting up periodically where parts of its icy surface were warmed slightly. Other scientists believe that these plumes could be the product of icy volcanoes. Ceres may be composed of as much as 25% water. If this is correct, Ceres has more water percentage for its size than our Earth. This is very important as water is thought to be one of the most essential elements for supporting life. Another very important element is nitrogen, which it's believed Ceres has in abundance on its icy surface. So it is possible with these ingredients and a few other conditions met, life may possibly exist there. In September 2007, NASA's Dawn Probe spacecraft was launched to observe an asteroid called Vista, located in an asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. After orbiting Vista for 11 months and collecting data, Dawn was then sent to intercept Ceres and study its chemical composition. There are spaceships in the movie Star Wars known as TIE Fighters, which stands for Twin Iron Engine, the Dawn probe was also equipped with an iron propulsion system. Xenon atoms are first ionised in a magnetic field, accelerated and then ejected. Iron propulsion generates recoil that helps propel the spacecraft allowing it to travel the vast distance to reach Vista and Ceres. Once it arrived at Ceres, the Dawn probe orbited at an altitude of 225 miles and sent back some startling information. Not only did it appear that Ceres could have supported oceans during its development, it also seemed to be geologically active, or at least it had been until recently. The most intriguing discovery the Dawn probe made back in 2015 was that of two bright spots in a 56 mile crater named Orcata. These spots somehow maintained their brightness from a number of different angles, which sparked speculation among scientists that the light source may be internal rather than reflective. What could these spots be? They're not the only spots discovered on the surface of Ceres. So far, more than 130 have been recorded. Could these spots be evidence of alien life? The Orcata crater is thought to be around 80 million years old and it's 57 miles or 92 kilometers wide, with a dome structure in the center covered in highly reflective material. One theory is that the Akata crater was once home to a large deposit of salt water hidden just beneath the surface, and these spots are merely hydrated magnesium sulfate deposited on dark background materials. Rather than biological, the scientists believe these are more likely geological consisting of volcanic ice salt emissions which cause the reflection of light. Maria Cristina de Sanctis, based in the National Institute of Astrophysics in Rome, described the impact fractures on the surface of the Akata crater and analysed them in a separate study which suggests that there is an ocean some 25 miles or 40 kilometres below the surface. Although the exact size is unknown, it's pretty large, said de Sanctis adding that the presence of such a large body of water beneath the surface will certainly have influenced the geology of Ceres. 
With water coming up from below the surface and bringing materials with it, the materials we have found in the Akata Centre Bright area require alteration by water, De Sanctus said. Carbonate support the idea that Ceres had internal hydrothermal activity which pushed these materials to the surface within Octaca. Dr Simone Marshy, a senior research scientist at the Southwest Research Institute in Boulder, Colorado, described how this discovery of a locally high concentration of organics is intriguing with broad implications for the astrobiological community. He also noted that Ceres had evidence of ammonia bearing hydrated materials, water, ice, carbonate, salt and now organic materials. With these new findings, the probe has shown that Ceres contains the key ingredients for life. Dawn's mission ended on November the 1st, 2018, when NASA announced that it had depleted its hydrazine fuel supply. It continues to orbit Ceres, but without power, it is no longer sending signals back to Earth. In 2020, NASA using artificial intelligence to study the pictures of Ceres' surface made an unusual discovery of two geometric shapes found in an area inside the bright spots located in the Orcata crater. These shapes consisted of a square structure within a triangle. Not only that, but they also discovered a rather large cone-shaped mountain on the surface of Ceres. The mountain, known as Ahuna Mons, rises to the altitude of 4 miles or 6.5 kilometres. It stands alone and scientists believe that it was formed by a sending plume made of a mixture of salt water and rock which rose up from within the dwarf planet erupting onto the surface and forming the mountain. Ceres is a fascinating prospect for humanity and scientists in the Finnish Meteorological Institute are proposing the first permanent off-world habitation to be built orbiting Ceres. In an attempt to maintain some form of gravity, they theorised that the habitat could orbit Ceres every 66 seconds. Thanks to the low gravity of Ceres and its fast rotation, the researchers speculate that a space elevator would be feasible. It sounds far-fetched, but if it worked, the habitation orbiting Ceres could be directly supplied with resources mined from within the dwarf planet. The use of the abundant nitrogen contained under the surface of Ceres and the fact that conditions are likely very stable could help establish this off-world colony and may eventually lead to the creation of an Earth-like atmosphere on the planet itself, making Ceres the perfect stepping stone for mankind's future exploration of the cosmos and beyond.